This week's presentation is going to explore our Connect to Learn program, which is our Bring Your Own Device program here at Guymere Technology High School. We'll talk to you a little bit about how that program is utilised for learning in our classrooms and how we ensure through positive conversations that our students here maintain that safe, respectful and successful use of their personal devices for their learning. So there is a lot of research out there that links to how success can be enhanced for our children by that partnership schools create with home. If we can communicate everything that we can home with you about the learning that's happening here at Gaimi and about the different experiences your children are able to get involved in, not just with the use of their devices, but in their learning as a whole, then we see that growth in their potential. We see that growth in their progress so much more prevalent by having that really close partnership with our families. So that communication is critical. That communication home between teachers and parents means that everybody is on the same page with our students and your children's learning here at Gaimere. It also means that those conversations that you can have with them at home about their learning can increase that engagement and that excitement that they feel when they are here at school too. It means that those conversations for you as parents of year six students that are heading to high school next year here with us at Gaimere means that we can start building that excitement and that confidence right now. So, we're encouraging you, talk to them about Head Start, talk to them about the different activities that they are involving themselves in through our Edmodo platform. Talk to them about the 360 lessons that they've been able to watch and immerse themselves in, what the quizzes were about, and then talk to them about next year. Talk to them about what they're looking forward to, uh, the different subjects that they're looking forward to studying, meeting new people. Talk to them about the things that they're learning about their new school. If they could tell you what their new year advisors names are who have already introduced themselves through that Guide Me Connect program. And keep that conversation going to make sure that they are feeling that excitement and they are building that confidence about their new journey ahead of them next year. For us, we are looking to regularly communicate with you all the time about what's happening here for your child's learning. We have a range of platforms that continually communicate news stories, events and information about the curriculum and assessments home to you in a succinct way. The most useful one-stop shop for our parents is our school website. It does contain a whole range of links to a wealth of information about what's happening here at school, not just extracurricular activities, but in learning as well. You can access just generalised information about the school, including bell times, who to contact for assistance across curriculum areas and wellbeing as well. And you can also access information about all of the assessment tasks that your child will have coming up for them across the school year. All of our assessment notifications across year seven to 10 are posted to that website, meaning that parents can go and access those notifications from home and be able to have those conversations with your child about what that assessment involves and how they can best prepare themselves for that assessment task. We also communicate home regularly in terms of progress of our students here and their learning. And one of the most important ways that parents like to receive that feedback is through their school reports. But we also have progress reports that our year advisors can send out and make contact with parents at home just to check in on each child's learning if parents are interested in gaining a little bit more information. So parents are able to connect with the year advisors and make a phone call here to request a progress report just to delve a little bit deeper into how their child is going with their learning 
You're also able to get in contact with any of the school staff at any point that you need to just by calling through to the office and requesting to talk to either the year advisor, their class teacher or the head teacher of that subject area if you have any questions as well. As I mentioned, we are really looking for that engagement from home as well, because as mentioned in the first slide, it is such a crucial part of ensuring success for your child and for our students here at Gaimi. So the more that you access our resources and have a good understanding about what your child is doing in their learning here at school every day, the more you can make sure that those conversations are really pointed and get down into the nitty gritty about what your child needs from their teachers, from you and from their peers to assist with their learning. So having a look through their books, having a look at the learning that they did that day. But teenagers are teenagers and quite often your questions may be met with a one word response, perhaps even a grunt. So having a look through their books, having a look on our online learning platforms through Moodle and Google Classroom, and as well as having a look through the school website about upcoming assessments and different tasks that are happening across the school means that you can have those really pointed conversations with your child and ask those direct questions that can tease out a little bit more information from them too. It lets them know that you are looking and that you are interested in what's happening within their learning. Of course, we encourage you to get involved in all the different information sessions that we provide as your child progresses through their high school journey. There are lots of changes that happen throughout high school. Entering into year seven is a huge one. And for a lot of parents, it is daunting about that change between primary school and moving into high school. While our information sessions are generally run through the school and are something that you are actually able to come in and attend, at the moment our information sessions are being held digitally due to the restrictions that we've faced this year, but that doesn't mean that that information isn't still important. And it isn't still of value to our parents at home. So jumping onto our website, jumping onto our digital information that we are putting together for you and taking the time to listen through it and be a part of those different information sessions that we are offering will help you feel connected to us, but it'll also provide you with that confidence that you know what's coming up next for your child. We encourage you also to get involved in the activities that we are running. So get involved in the website, have a look at our virtual lessons that we're putting together. Sit down with your child and watch those virtual lessons. And as your child moves through high school and hopefully restrictions ease and we are able to run more normalized activities that we would have in the past, getting involved in those activities as well. Showing that Everything your child has an interest in and is able to be involved in at school is so worthwhile. We would love for our students to leave Gaimu when they finish Year 12, knowing that they jumped in and participated in everything that they could and that they have those wonderful memories to fall back on. The last thing that you may be interested in engaging in is joining our school's PNC. The PNC meet on the first Tuesday of every month and at the moment those meetings are running online due to the restrictions but our PNC are an active group who look for ways that they can assist the school often by providing new facilities for our students. So the most notable ones that our PNC have helped organise for us recently is the purchase and installing of a brand new ceiling fan for the hall. And they also assisted in purchasing two water cooling stations, which our students absolutely love and are able to fill up their drink bottles with cold water that stays cold for them throughout the day. So that's something that you may be interested in joining as well and being a part of organizing those types of things for our students here at school too. 
our students here at Guy Mir and your children don't learn like we learnt when we were back in high school. They are a very collaborative bunch. They're a very social bunch and they learn best when they are working with each other. They're also, as I mentioned, digital natives, meaning that they are so used to having that immediate access to information that the internet and their devices bring to them. So for us, we hit the mark for our students best by delivering learning to them in a way that is of meaning to them and makes sense to them. And being able to incorporate that authentic, seamless use of their devices, technology, and access to the information through the internet means that we are tailoring learning directly to the needs of our students. Technology also allows our students to be collaborative with each other, create documents and presentations and even objects that they are actually able to 3D print or laser cut. Creating those types of things together using technology and being able to explore that problem solving and critical thinking side of that creativity as well. Digital technologies also means that our kids have that anywhere, anytime access to their learning. One of the things that we have seen grown for us out of remote learning was that development of that real authentic use of our online learning platforms right across the school. We've seen the development of a brand new whole school homework policy. So our students being able to continue their learning through their devices at a time that is best suited to them, making sure that the learning that they've started here at school in the classroom doesn't just stop when the bell goes, but they continue to look through and grow from those lessons. So this is the crux of our bring your own device policy here at Guy Mir. And for us, it is our program that we call Connect to Learn or C2L for short. Connect to Learn means bringing whatever device feels comfortable for you. And that includes the use of mobile phones as a learning tool. We don't ban mobile phones here at Guy Mir because they do provide access to a wealth of information just as a laptop or a tablet would. Our focus is teaching our kids how to use their device, whichever device they have chosen to bring to school for their learning, in a successful and respectful way. Making sure that they are safe digital citizens on any device that they're using and making sure that all of the interactions that they are having on that device and the way in which they're using that device for learning is in a respectful and a responsible way. As we teach our students to use their devices successfully, it's allowing them to more actively use that device for the things we want them to use them for. So that collaboration with each other, that critical thinking and the chance to be creative with each other, to problem solve with each other in that collaborative social world that they absolutely thrive in. Our students love teamwork. They love to be able to bounce off each other, to get feedback from each other about whether or not somebody else thinks that they're on the right track too, and build that confidence to keep moving forward. It is the way that we see our students these days being the most successful that they can be. And technology as a whole provides that opportunity to our students. So we're very lucky here at Guy Mir that we are a dual platform school and we do have a technology centre that is large enough to cater for our, an entire year group at one time all with access to either a Mac or a PC through that technology centre. We also have some fantastic technology in the library that enables our students to collaborate with each other and build some incredible multimedia projects. 
but our C2L program also gives our students that individualized access to technology right at their fingertips through their own personal device that is personalized to them and unique to them. To end this presentation, at Head Start each year, we've always asked our current Year 7 students to present to the parents a little bit about how they use their devices for learning in the classroom. So to finish, I'm just going to share with you a short video that some of our students have put together for you that tells you a little bit about how they use their own devices in learning. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Charlotte and I use my laptop for learning. Hi, I'm Alani and I use my phone for most of my learning. Hi, I'm Penny and I use my device to keep me organised. Hi, I'm Daniel and I like the range of apps we have for learning. Hi, I'm Mitchell and my device lets me access a world of learning. Hi, I'm Jen and just like Penny, I use my device to keep me organised. The usage of phones is a controversial topic at high school. People either love it or hate it. Using phones does make access to using technology easy and portable. Using a phone in class to take notes is no different to using a laptop or an iPad. I even wrote this speech using my phone the same way Charlotte used her laptop, making it just as accessible to use and change almost anywhere. Lugging my bag around school all day is so much easier having my phone. Plus, I, like many students, make sure I have a protective case that allows me to drop my phone from a tree and it won't break. From home to school, we use our phones everywhere. We use our phones to take notes, do work and research. We also use our phones to do classwork and homework. Sometimes we even take photos of the board to remind ourselves of the work we did in class. Or homework our teacher has assigned. If you're worried that your child is using their phone means that they will be doing non-work related things more often, don't worry. As you probably know, looking down and laughing is definitely not work related at all. And teachers do notice this and they chat to us to get back on task. A lot of teachers will also tell their students when to use their phones, other devices or both. Remember, it's all about trust, and if teachers can trust students with phones, it can be a useful learning tool. A lot of parents have the mindset of back in my day. For example, back in my day, we had to eat everything off our plate before we were allowed to leave the table. Or, back in my day, we walked 100 kilometres through blizzards and bushfires just to get to school. I'm sure that's true. Another one is, back in my day, we used diaries and paper to take notes. Well, it's our day now, and I'm here to tell you that the future of learning is all about devices. We can use apps on mobile devices, such as phones, to remind ourselves when homework is due and what supplies we need to bring to school. We can use online documents on our laptops and iPads to take notes. This is why you shouldn't be afraid of our advancing technology and the fact that your children may not be using books and paper for organisation. Why is technology so vital in organisation and note-taking? Well, first of all, using devices can be so much more efficient and useful than books. We have all of our work stored in one place, but it is also easily accessible on other devices. This means we can continue with our work wherever we are. We can also share documents with our peers so we can work together, because we all know that teamwork makes the dream work. We actually use a shared Google Doc to work on these speeches together. Devices are very useful for organisation too. For example, we use folders to group our work into different subjects or topics which helps us find our work easily. Instead of having to go through a diary or planner just to find one thing, we can make a few clicks and huzzah, it's right there. However, devices may not work for every subject. I, for one, don't use my device in maths because of all the symbols and drawings. In science, I don't usually use my device to draw diagrams either. I have a balance of device and books and I think that is very important. This may sound surprising since I have talked so much about devices, but I could not live without my printed timetable of all my classes. That thing is my saviour and I check it every morning so I know what to pack. I recommend sticking it above your books or bag so you can quickly check it each morning and pack your bag. I like to colour code the top of my books so I don't have to check every single book when pulling them out of my bag. Some of my friends like to colour code their timetables too. As you can see, there are many ways to take notes and stay organised and the best way to do it is really up to your child. In the 21st century, technology is growing and we're expected to grow with it. 
How are we meant to do this? Well, here at Gaimi Technology High School, we use many learning platforms to help us identify, understand and demonstrate what being organised is about. Because let's be real, some of us are a bit of a hot mess. To help us achieve this, we use Moodle. Moodle is an online program run by the school, which every student has access to. On Moodle, every student has their own courses displayed, meaning they each have access to textbooks, practice tests, revision resources and more. Moodle is a very helpful and useful learning platform which helps students to prepare themselves for their learning, assessments and future study. I like using Moodle as it helps me to prepare myself for assessment tasks and it tells me when my assignments are due. Moodle also provides links that are helpful to us, like our school email, timetable and many more. When it comes to devices, many parents get scared. They get worried that their child will get sidetracked or addicted or brainwashed and start losing grades. Also, as parents, you can stalk your children by using their department login to get into Moodle and see what it's like. Who knows what you'll find, probably work that's too hard for you. Your child may think you need to buy them the best laptop or iPad, but this isn't always the case. My parents were in the same boat last year and after a lot of thinking, we decided to get a second opinion from JB Hi-Fi, which led me to the purchase of my laptop. Although getting a device isn't compulsory, I highly recommend it, as after all, this is a technology high school. We use devices a lot in class and I find it convenient and useful to use my laptop in class. Thank you. At Gaimea Technology High School, we use a wide range of platforms to improve our learning experience. All students have access to appropriate websites for their learning to help them create new and innovative ideas. Some of these websites may include Python or Unity which are programs that allow learners of all abilities to program and develop systems and virtual worlds. These websites can develop creative thinking skills for writing and project ideas. The World Wide Web is a great source for everyone. It contains learning sources for teachers such as videos, worksheets, and for all students, it is a quick and easy way to find out information. Take this as an example. Imagine you're in class and you need to find a small piece of information. You're thinking to yourself how long it would take to go through multiple books trying to find a short answer that you can easily search for on your device. It is key that we use the time we have wisely and not wasting it on reading thousands of words to find a three word answer. I'm sure that most of you would have heard of Google Docs, but for all of you that don't know what it is or how it works, let me tell you. Google Docs is an online platform that many of the students, including me, use right here at Gaimi Tech. In fact, I wrote this very speech in a shared Google Doc along with Penny, Charlotte, Jen, Alani and Daniel, where we helped edit each other's speeches to make them the best they could be. This is just one example of, how, of the many things you can do collaboratively in Docs and on the World Wide Web. It can be really difficult to adapt to Year 7 because of the differences between high school and primary. One of the major changes is workload and we need to know how to manage that because in any given week you could have multiple assignments due. Organisational skills are vital in high school so our students don't fall behind in a sea of assignments. They provide you with some tools to use, one of which is MyGuyMia. This is an app that provides a platform to keep track of schoolwork. It can create study notes and notifications to prepare yourself. The app also provides a digital copy of your timetable and even tells you what class you have at any given time. Take today for example. I wake up at 6.30, I had maths first period and tech second. I probably would have forgotten which subject I had if not for my guy Mia. It is a big step up from primary school in terms of the homework and assignments we have to complete. In fact, we have six assignments due in the next week. I use MyGuyMia to track these due dates and the work I need to complete to make sure I'm happy with my assignment submissions. MyGuyMia is one example of an organisational app, but it's tailored to us and personalised, so it's really individualised to keep ourselves organised. 
At Guy Meets Technology High School, we encourage students to bring a device which they can use for their learning. In class, we use these, and they allow the students to write and research easily. We can use computers, and we have many apps which we can use. Microsoft Office and Adobe products are programs which the students can install on their devices for free from the government. These programs consist of Word, PowerPoint, Photoshop, Premiere Pro and Fusion 360. All these are used throughout the year for different subjects. All these programs allow us to do different things. In many subjects we use Microsoft Word to write down what the teacher needs us to. In maths, most students use their books as it is easier to write math equations and other math symbols. With PowerPoint, we can prepare a presentation for an assignment, project or for a research task in class. In tech, we use Photoshop to edit photos and create unrealistic images from our imagination. We also use Premiere Pro. We edit videos and create effects which we, we couldn't do in real life to make our video look different. Students love Kahoot. The teacher can create or use someone else's Kahoot and the students can play. You choose a name and all the students then have to answer multiple choice questions in a time limit. After all the questions, the people came first, second and third have their names shown on the board. Students love this because it is pretty much a fun quiz competition. All these programs we have used at the school allow us to work faster and harder.